An electric kettle for camping or tailgating? Let's learn more. What's up, I'm Lucas Tailgating Challenge. At the tailgater off the grid, you may need a way to do these things. Get a hot drink, like hot coffee, hot toddy, maybe heat up a soup or something similar, or maybe even pop some popcorn. We're gonna do all of that today with the jewel from Stoke Voltaics. Let's check this out and unbox it right now. All right, so if you see here, this is our power button. We got the drink, eat, and pop buttons. But this is like, it's padded, so it's probably gonna help with the heat transfer. Here's what we got right here. That's what's below there. You got your handle part right here. And it has a measuring line, if you can see in there too, for pouring some of your liquids too. So on the back, this is where we get the power going. This does not have an internal battery, so you must have a power station. Let's hook this up right now and see how it does with some liquid first. Right, we got this powered up here with our power station. We'll hit our power button. It is on. Now we'll put the top on here and check back, see how long it takes to get this water going. All right, come on in here. So it took about five minutes for this to start boiling. Woo, it is hot. Check that out. So water boiling in five minutes with this. All right, next up, let's put some soup in there for those cold tailgates you might go to. All right, so now we power up again, and then we slide this over to eat. And let's see what happens next. All right, so it's been about five minutes. This is on the eat mode right here. So come on in here. You see the steam coming off. It's bubbling in there, so it probably didn't get quite as hot as the water did with the boiling, but it's pretty dang close. So be careful. Like I definitely would not put this to my lips right now and, and do it, but it definitely got it hot. And this was going like within a couple of minutes, it was ready to go. So I'd say like two minutes on soup and you're ready to eat some of that right there and cut it off. Last but not least, we've got to try some popcorn in here. We have a pop pop flavor wrapped kernels. So we're gonna put a few of these in here and see how this does in the jewel. All right, we had it in here about seven minutes. We have some good pops. We just cut it off now too to see how it's going. So let's come inside here and see how this popcorn is looking. So we got a little bit of popcorn in there. Probably most of it popped. There's a few kernels at the bottom, but that's pretty normal. I guess we need to taste some of this too. Probably pretty hot. Not bad actually. All right, so again, this was the jewel. Let's talk about some of our thoughts after we tested this out. So we have the drink, we have the eat, and we have the pop. All of them worked. I mean, the water was boiling in five minutes. The soup, if anything, like take it off a little bit early because otherwise it's gonna start to boil as well too. And then the popcorn started popping in that five to seven minute range. We're here at about 5,000 feet elevation, just to put it in perspective too. So it has, it's like, you can see right here. So you can hang on to it pretty easily. You see at the top of here, you have your ability to drink it and the ventilation coming out. And so the biggest thing for this is that you have to have something similar to this. You have to have 500 watts of power to power this thing up. That is really my only feedback I have for this because it cleaned out easy in between the soup. Like it was wipe it out, stainless, looks great. But if you could take it and it had an internal battery to do all this without having to haul one of these around, that's the only feedback I got for it. Again, I'm Lucas Tailgating Challenge. I love testing out tailgating products. Check the website at the bottom screen to see all those honest product reviews. And then follow some social because what we do is we test stuff just like the jewel. And then we give you a chance to win fun stuff every single week. Until next time, drop us a comment. Let us know what questions you have, what you think about this, and what you would make in here. I'm thinking some hot chocolate or hot toddy as the weather gets cooler myself. Until next time, remember the motto, don't hate, just tailgate, and we'll see you to tailgate soon. Cheers to that.